Traveling to Dubai, the updated guidelines and rules as of January 2022. Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time to come across this channel, please support this channel by subscribing. Don't forget to click the bell icon, it will be the only way that you'll be updated when I upload or upload a new video. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much. For the new subscribers, consider subscribing and supporting this channel. We are looking at traveling to Dubai, the new updated rules and guidelines as of 20 uh, January 2022. Remember, now uh, during the, uh, the course of the COVID-19 pandemic, the Omicron variant, very many restrictions of all countries lifted up with uh, put instructions in order to, to to protect their community or citizens away from the deadly Omicron variant and the COVID-19 uh, pandemic that has screwed off the economies of the world. These are the new travel guidelines uh, updated in Dubai. Remember, one, we are going to look at the rules. What are the rules for the Dubai residence visa holders? If you hold a Dubai residence visa or if you are living in Dubai and you are resident with a valid residence permit, what are the rules for travel in Dubai? One, all visa residents can travel to Dubai without an approval of the ICP. So if you have a residence card order, you can move to Dubai without an approval of ICP. Remember before, for people to move to Dubai or anyone to come back to Dubai, at what is a first case, even if you are a visa holder, you needed to first apply online with the ICP to get approval or you have first needed to put in your approval before travel. But as per the new guidelines, you do not, if you have a resident permit of Dubai, or your visa holder working in Dubai with that visa card, you do not need any approval of ICP. However, there are some categories of countries that would need an approval before traveling to Dubai or before coming back to Dubai. There is countries like Bangladesh, countries like India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka. So for travelers from these two, for, from these countries, they still need approval of ICP to travel back to Dubai. Hope I'm very clear. If you're a resident holder, you are not, you do not need any approval. For exceptional, course, exceptional cases of these countries, Bangladesh, India, Pakistan and Sri Lanka, they will need what you call an approval to come back to Dubai. For example, for example, an exception, the second exception is that approval is not needed for those who got a newly issued residence permit. If you are new to Dubai, and you got a newly renewed residence permit, you do not need any approval to come back to Dubai. Two, if you have been given a new employment visa, you do not need an approval to come to Dubai. Those are what we call exceptional uh, cases as per, as per the UAE policy, the new updated policy. So that means you do not need what we call an approval to come to Dubai if you are newly recruited with unemployment visa. Then also, what we call the short stay, for those people that are on a short stay in Dubai, do not need an approval to come to Dubai. Then, another category is overstay. For those in on overstay visa, for those on overstay in Dubai, do not require an approval to travel or to come to Dubai. Then we look at people who hold a 10 year a 10 year golden visa. If you have a 10 year golden visa and you are coming from those countries that I mentioned, Bangladesh, India, Pakistan and Sri Lanka, you do not need 
an approval to come to Dubai. Then another category is what we call an investor. We call the investor someone who's going to come to inject money in the economy of UAE. And if you are coming from those countries that we mentioned, Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka, you do not need an approval of the ICP. Hope I'm right. Then, if you are on a visiting visa also, you are coming to Dubai for a short period of time, you do not need an approval of ICP to come to Dubai. If you are coming from those countries that I mentioned, Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. Still, another group that does not need an does not need an approval of ICP is the visa on arrival. If you are getting your visa on arrival and you are coming from Bangladesh, you are coming from uh, India, you are coming from Pakistan and Sri Lanka, you do not need ICP approval. But what are the requirements for these particular groups? Much as this, what we call an exception. What are the part of the requirement for this group? Yes, the requirements are you must present what we call a printed and a digital negative PCR test certificate with a QR code. Both on mobile in the PDF form of 100 KP and also in a printed format. Hope I'm right. For rule number one, we say rules for Dubai residence visa. You do not need an approval to come back to Dubai, but you need you must present a printed or a digital negative results PCR certificate in a PDF format and also in a printed copy with 100 of KB within and this must have been taken within the last 48 hours. Then also, they must also present what we call a negative results with a QR code. A rapid test that should be taken within the six hours before the departure. That is the group that is coming from Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. Those are the requirements. Requirements one, you must present a printed, uh, printed digital or negative result certificate, vaccination certificate, which is printed in the PDF form. Then two, you also need to take what you call a rapid test, six hours prior to the prior to your flight. That is what you call the rapid test. Hope I've tried to share up something for you. Thank you so much uh, coming back to this channel. It's Mix from the Mix Creation. See you again in the next video as we try to see more travel guidelines in part two. Remember, we are looking at traveling to Dubai, rules and updated guidelines as of January 2022. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.